Hotter temperatures during the summer months are usually accompanied by increased demand on the state's power grid. As News Channel 3's Jennifer Franco reports, those alerts could make it harder for electric vehicle owners to get around. But there are ways to avoid that. We charge it as needed as we as we can. Nick Markman is using his downtime to charge his Tesla in Palm Springs. Normally, he and his spouse plug in their electric vehicles at home in San Francisco. For the next month, they'll be using public charging stations while they vacation in the desert. Right now, deciding when to charge didn't take much thought. Today, I just uh, had a time. But that could change under a flex or conserve alert like the one IID issued over the weekend because of extreme heat. When that happens, customers are asked to limit their energy use during peak hours between 4 p.m. and 9 p.m. to avoid potential power outages. It's something Markman says he's on board with. Overall, I think it's not as hard because we do it at home and uh, every day. He says his utility, PG&E, like others, offers some financial incentives that impact his behavior. When we have the lowest rate for energy, that we use it, uh, take it to advantage and take advantage of that and uh, charge uh, at night. When it comes to those hitting the road for summer travel, Markman says he wonders whether people still would choose the convenience uh, of uh, being free to when they charge uh, versus like paying attention to the conserve alert. Public charging stations also offer lower rates during non-peak energy use hours. So if you can, plan ahead. And there are ways EV drivers can make better use of their battery life, including reducing your speed by 10 miles per hour, using eco mode, and avoiding the use of sport mode if your car has it. In Palm Springs, Jennifer Franco, News Channel 3.